The cheetah is one of the most graceful members of the cat family and one of the few cat species which relies on speed instead of stealth when hunting. Cheetahs are the fastest land mammals on Earth, reaching speeds of 110 to 120 kilometers an hour. They accelerate from 0 to 80 kilometers an hour in just 3 seconds, which is faster than a lot of sports cars. Cheetahs have slender, long-legged bodies with blunt, semi-retractable claws. Their heads are small with high-set eyes. A black tear mark runs from the inner corner of each eye down to the mouth. A cheetah's teeth are small when compared with other big cats, which accommodates their larger nasal passages that enable quick air intake. Cheetah's spots may serve as camouflage for both hunting and hiding. Their spots may offset the shadows in the gray-hued grasses they often inhabit allowing them to blend in with their surroundings. Camouflage is essential not only for stalking prey, but also for protecting cheetah cubs from predators. A cheetah cub's smoky gray mantle may serve as added camouflage among the dead grasses. Much like a human fingerprint, a cheetah's spots in the ring pattern of its tail are unique, enabling researchers in the field to identify individuals. Adult cheetah males are typically larger than females, Body lengths of cheetahs range from 112 to 150 centimeters, or 3.93 to 4.92 feet. Tail lengths are between 60 to 80 centimeters, or 2 to 2.62 feet. And the height at the shoulder ranges from 67 to 92 centimeters, or 2.2 to 3.1 feet. Their weights average from 21 to 72 kilograms, or 46 to 158 pounds. The cheetah is an animal that once had a vast historical range that stretched across several continents, but their distribution today is much more scattered, with a small number found in Iran and the majority found in Sub-Saharan Africa. Although cheetahs are still found in a few different spots of eastern and southern Africa, the highest population of wild cheetah is now found in Nambia in southwestern Africa. Cheetahs are most commonly found stalking prey in the vast, open grasslands, but they are also found in a variety of other habitats as well, including deserts, dense vegetation, and mountainous terrain, providing that there are both adequate supplies of food and water. Cheetahs are one of Africa's most vulnerable felines, with population numbers mainly affected by growing human settlements that encroach on their native habitats. Cheetahs have a unique social order among phalids. Adult females are solitary, while adult males are not. Adult females interact with adult males only long enough to breed, and females raise their cubs on their own. At 18 months, the mother leaves the cubs, who then form a sibling group that stays together for another six months. At about two years, the female siblings leave the group and become solitary while the young males remain together for life in a group called a coalition. A coalition is usually made up of two to three litter mates and is a very tightly bonded group. Singleton males are not common and usually do not survive long. This coalition may live and hunt together for life, claiming a territory, which may encompass several female home ranges. Like other phalids, cheetahs are carnivorous getting food by killing and eating other animals. The teeth of cats are well suited to their diet, with long canines for gripping prey and blade-like molars for cutting flesh. While most cats are nocturnal predators, the cheetahs primarily diurnal, hunting in the early morning and late afternoon. Since it depends on sight rather than smell, it likes to scan the wild from a tree limb or the top of a termite mound. Other big cats chase only a few hundred meters, but the cheetah chases 5.5 kilometers at an average speed of 72 kilometers per hour. The energy cheetahs spend on going after their prey makes one wonder if they gain the energy after the feed. However, cheetahs have a very refined approach to hunting, probably to avoid being unsuccessful. A cheetah's night vision is poor compared to others in the big cat kingdom. It is the only big cat that hunts during the day. This poses some unique challenges for the cheetah, as it does not have the cover of darkness to enable it to spring a surprise attack on its prey. A cheetah spends the mornings and early evenings looking for prey when there is light but low sun. To hunt under the heat of the sun would be extremely challenging for the cheetah, given the energy it needs to expend to catch its meal. Cheetahs typically hunt zebra, wildebeest, 
and gazelle. These are all herd animals, and all take turns to look out for danger. So the stealthy cheetah assassin must use its wit as well as its lightning speed to have the best chance of getting a kill. A cheetah will always approach its prey from a downward position, so its scent does not give them away. It uses the natural undulations and peaks of its habitat, such as hills and termite mounds, to cover as it approaches. A cheetah has to stay out of sight until it's time to pounce. Once a cheetah spots prey, it stalks the prey. Tall grass is essential here. Fortunately for the cheetah, the places where its favorite prey gathers to drink are typically surrounded by tall grasses. Using the tall grass for cover and its spots as camouflage, it silently approaches its prey, treading softly and slowly to avoid detection. Although the cheetah is the fastest land animal in the world, it is not capable of prolonged chases, so it needs to position itself as close to its prey as possible before it decides to make an ambush. Once close enough, the cheetah uses its electrifying speed to launch a surprise ambush. Once it is in sight, its prey will bolt, so the cheetah has to chase down any laggers before it's exhausted. If a cheetah times its hunt well, its raw speed means that it will quickly catch something. Cheetahs can hit speeds of 71 miles per hour and using their long tails for balance. So once the hunt is on, it has a 1 in 10 chance of getting a kill. Once a cheetah subdues its prey, it may begin eating the prey before the prey is dead. This is to reduce the chances of a scavenger, such as a hyena, or a larger big cat like a lion or leopard coming along and robbing it of the prize it worked so hard to win. Cheetahs are in trouble in the wild. In the last century, the cheetah population has declined from 100,000 to fewer than 8,000 individuals, and the species has become extinct in at least 13 countries. Technically, cheetahs don't have any predators. However, lions, leopards, and hyenas will try to prey upon cheetah, particularly cheetah cubs. Because they are so fast, adult cheetahs are very difficult to catch. Cubs are a different story. When first born, like all kittens, they are utterly helpless and can easily be killed in their nursery den while their mother is off hunting. The mortality rate of cheetah cubs is incredibly high, approximately 70%, and most of those fatalities are non-lion related. This has led many to wonder what would happen if cheetahs were relocated to other places, such as Australia. Could they survive? Australia is one of the most biologically diverse countries on the planet. It is home to more than 1 million species of plants and animals, many of which are found nowhere else in the world, and less than half have been described scientifically. This high level of endemism can be attributed to the continent's long geographic isolation, tectonic stability, and the side effects of an unusual pattern of climactic change on the soil and flora over geological time. A unique feature of Australia's fauna is the relative scarcity of native placental mammals. Consequently, the marsupials, a group of mammals that raise their young in a pouch, including the macropods, possums, and diceomorphs, accompany many of the ecological niches that elsewhere in the world are filled by placental mammals. The biggest actual predator in Australia is the crocodile, and the biggest land predator is the monitor lizard. Cheetahs could potentially kill kangaroos and provide more competition in a continent that's content with kangaroos just not having any dangerous scenarios they can experience. Cheetahs would become apex predators and probably thrive in the continent of Australia as well as provide balance so that kangaroos weren't just doing whatever they wanted. Even though cheetahs may survive in Australia, introducing predators typically end up being more of a problem than a solution. Australia already has major invasive species issues. Introducing cheetahs may help with controlling kangaroo populations, but may negatively affect a lot of other native populations, including ones that are already vulnerable. It's unlikely that cheetahs would only hunt and kill kangaroos, and probable that they would kill other species that are already threatened and endangered as well. Meanwhile, there are lots of things in Australia that can kill you. They even have poisonous toads. Cheetahs would be unfamiliar with these creatures and thus much more likely to fall victim to them. Now that you've heard our opinion, we want to know yours. 
Do you think cheetahs could survive in Australia? We are waiting for your answers in the comments. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.